Welcome to this week's episode of the Perceptive Readers, a podcast series made in the Product of Culture, aka Parkbooks website's office. Hi, I'm James. Poetry for a Special Journey. Hi, I'm James Lynch, and welcome to this Park Books Update Moment. And keeping you apprised of everything that's going on with the narrator or audiobook that I'm working on at this time, I wanted to talk more about the uh, graduation with poetry flair or the acronym <laughs> GWPLC. Uh, the reason why, you know, I'm wanting to uh, pick out uh, several um, sections this week to share with you is one because uh, you may appreciate <laughs> these sections this week. But one of the things that I'm going to do, uh, instead of reading everything to you that you know that I've posted on the booknet.com uh, website or using the app, you see, I, I want you to uh, at least have a synopsis of what is on each page, because I'll just do page by page uh, as I post these podcasts. And then you can uh, see whether you want to go and read the rest of it or not. Okay. So as I mentioned in the title, here it is, Poetry for a Special Journey. I start off on page two which is still really in the foreword section um, if you want to know the location. We haven't even gone into chapter one yet, even though I want you to know I did post chapter one uh, last night on it. But let's get right back to still in the foreword section or introduction section to let you know what's going on. I start off in this very first paragraph or first four sentences where I state, poetry for a special journey you waited close to two decades for its completion. Happy graduation. Today is your big day. It is special, so much so, it is my privilege and pleasure to share this first poem of your, see, and this is important to take note of, it could either have, you see, the name of the book or, or a special section as well to place the school and graduation day uh, for you. Uh, I want you to know that is something that I have in my comment section that if anybody, you know, happened to contact me in the future and saying, you know, I want this book uh, made very special in some of the sections where you're really saying, uh, you, or you're referencing the uh, signature blocks or the school uh, that I actually graduated from, I would like it in all those sections. Hey, see, we can make it happen. We can make it happen. And I want you to know this is one of those sections in the very first paragraph where you have the opportunity where it says, it is my privilege and pleasure to share this first poem of your you see, or I could put, you know, again, your name, graduation date, school, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but as you know, in the original <laughs> form of the book, it'll just be uh, what I'll state as far as the GWPF or the graduation with the poetry flair, you see, um, book in there. Now, going along with that, if you continue to read by going to the book net, you know, dot com uh, and actually looking up perceptive reader. You see, that's me. Or you look up this book, uh, which is in the nonfiction section. Uh, you can actually see and follow along and, or things of that nature. You can also uh, um, make comments to me there, too. That's important for you to know, because, you know, sometimes I mentioned how you can um, uh, contact me or and get the ball rolling on anything, because as I said before, just as a point of a good business practice, uh, especially now I used to be light on this, but I'm, I'm not anymore. Uh, 
if you uh, want to do any further, you know, uh, correspondence or actually uh, uh, talking on the phone or even some type of video conference, it all starts with writing in a letter for me first. You know, I admit because, uh, again, uh, uh, so many persons like video so much, it's almost like they'll follow you around and take pictures of you just to be able to make a video of you. <laughs> but anyway, that's just a side joke or thought on the matter. All the same, if you want the original, if you want the authentic, if you want the one that cannot really be, once again, imitated, <laughs> and I'm still saying that with all respect, if you want the true authentic one, you see, not the imitation. You can always start by contacting me through, you know, other areas that I, I mentioned. Um, and now also BookNet that if you say, hey, uh, can I drop you a line? Uh, uh, can you call me? Um, can uh, we have a video conference? This is where it starts. It starts with a letter. It starts with writing. It starts with something, a receipt, if you will, of verification. And it's nothing wrong with having a verification in this way of saying, yes, I know uh, you want to uh, do this or contact or what have you. All right. Now, right back to this of uh, Poetry for a Special Journey. Here, you will find that there is a poem. And the reason why this poem is also so special is because after I give you three stanzas, if you will, of helping you to savor this day, there are really three more lines, you see, or you could add more if you want to, of what you can add to complete the poem for that day that was cemented in your mind. All right. And it's there and you can see it by just going along on BookNet, you see, and actually uh, following this book and reading it there. All right. So this was a Puck Books update moment. As I mentioned before, uh, there will be several more uh, throughout this week uh, for uh, this book that is being created right now, which, as I said before, even if you do. Uh, listen to it or uh, have some type of uh, player, you know, that follow alongs and read it, read it or what have you. I can still 100% tell you it would be nothing like the way the finished product would be for me and uh, my narrator on this book. So that's why I said you want the authentic, you want the original. You want the truth of who you're dealing with, their personality, their skills, their talents, their love and effort put into it. All right. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. <laughs>